family people and welcome to my freaking channel so as you guys know this is how this goes i'm going to be telling you about all of my november buys today um and just you know give you guys the tea oh gosh if you're new to my channel, you guys know I do have a little one. She is currently on freaking one. So I'm just warning you right now that if you're somebody who gets distracted easily, you probably shouldn't watch because you're going to get distracted. Just throwing that out there. Um, but as you guys know, in October, I started doing a full makeup of new products. And I decided that instead of doing favorite videos, I wanted to do new product videos and products that I bought during the month and if they're hot, if they're worth it, worth it, if they're not. So that is what I'm bringing you guys today. Um, some of the products, of course, actually all the products, what am I talking about, have been used. So don't judge, don't judge. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that, you know what, never mind. I'll tell you that later. First things first, if that little box is red, that means you're not subscribed to me. So, it's an easy way to fix. It's such a freaking easy fix. If you just press that red button, once it turns gray, that means you're subscribed. You've done the bare minimum. If you want to go a little bit further, you can press that little bell right there. And then you can also be alerted to when I have videos. Totally up to you. No pressure. No pressure. Except the subscribe part. That is pressure. Like, if you're watching, you should probably be subscribed. You know, you know, you know. And also, if you enjoy this video or right now you can choose give this video a big old thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comments below but without further ado so so this will not be a long video let's just get into it okay so my first hyped about product i'm gonna just go straight forward with it is the fenty freaking beauty foundation so as you guys know this was like the freaking thing this was the go-to everybody was getting this foundation so i got the shade 410 and at first i wasn't really sure how i was feeling about 410 but i actually think she's a keeper um i think i just had to get used to it and i think it really matters what shade of concealer I'm using because I talked about this in my video. Wait, 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 wait. If you've not watched this makeup look, you need to go back and watch that because that's where you'll see these products applied and then come back here and watch that. Okay, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. We're back here. Okay, so the first time I did this look, I used this infallible Pro Glow concealer in the shade 07 cream and that was a no-no i just hated how everything on my face looked i hated how my fenty foundation looked so i wasn't liking the way the fenty was applying but now looking at it using a different concealer which was not a new concealer so this was a new product that i tried to test out but it was not working so i had to go back to an od but i'm in the shade 410 i actually love this freaking foundation like it it's just so smooth um and then also in my other video on one side of my face i applied it with a beauty blender well beauty sponge the other i applied it with a brush i actually like it applied with a brush much better so that is my fancy i definitely would say if you can get your hands on it give it a go i definitely think it will be a foundation that i don't use all the time definitely will not be just in every video applying fenty because it's expensive you guys know i'm a drugstore girl but i i really liked it i really liked it riri did her thing so the next thing i got um which is on my face right now is the most freaking talked about trophy wife highlighter so i really do like this highlighter is it worth $34 in my opinion? No. But I like it. You know, I think if anything, you're paying for the name. And that's what you have to remember with high-end products, but especially with products that are high-end and by a celebrity. Come on now. You're definitely paying for the name. I will say I appreciate her for giving you 8 grams of highlighter. Um, and once again, this is not going to be an everyday highlighter. I don't even know if I'm keeping it because I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sold on it. Like, it's beautiful. I like it, but I'm not sold. Also, I don't like that you can't really go heavy on it. I'm a heavy 
highlighter girl. And with this, I feel like you have to go subtle or you're about to be looking like Goldie freaking Locks, okay? Her hair. You're going to be looking like Goldie Locks's hair. And I'm not talking about this kind of gold. I'm talking about like you're going to be glistening. And I'm all about the highlight, the sparkle, the glow. But that's a bit much. Um, Next. Is one of my favorite products. These are these brushes. They are the holiday, I think it's a holiday collection from Wet n Wild. So it's 10 brushes. I've clearly used them all. <laughs> but these are the brushes. They're so freaking pretty. I, I just love them. Like I want to get a pretty little case to just put these in by themselves. Um, I used these brushes to apply my foundation. I used them to apply um, my powder. I used this really cute one, a little funny shaped one, to apply my foundation, which I really liked because it kind of reminded me of Rihanna's foundation brush. So this one reminded me a lot of Rihanna's foundation brush, and it absolutely applied the foundation beautifully so I was lucky enough to get these brushes for $15 the set actually retailed for $30 and then I seen that they were on sale then they were out of stock online so I ended up finding where they were in the store and I was like I have to get my hands on those bad boys so these are these foundation brushes okay um the next new thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is this primer. So I used this primer and then I ended up putting my Becca primer on top because I got scared. But this was a sample that I got with my Sephora um, purchase and it's the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I felt like it would be really good because I did not get the matching primer with my Fenty foundation. So I said I'll just get this because... It was free, it was a sample, but when it came down to it, I really pumped out, and I just could not use it by itself, so that's why I put my Becca on as well, but I liked it. It was really lightweight. Um, it's a clear primer, so you don't have to worry about it leaving you ashy. I know some people have that issue, um, but yeah, I like this. And then, is this my last thing to show? Oh, and then you guys didn't see it on my second video because I already had it on but I have this Mally mascara that I got from my influencer box so I didn't actually buy this it was actually sent to me from influencer which my influencer box will be up really soon but this was some mascara I just used it um before I put on my lashes I did like it um yeah, it was all, it really made my, I seen the volume, I definitely like when I put on a mascara and I can actually see the work, so yeah, I would say yes for this, but I'll talk about it more when I do my Influencer Kohl's box, so be on the lookout for that. Then last but not least, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uses, which I was a little thrown off because I just think, um, I didn't really know how to use a lot of the colors, I didn't really know what to put together. I feel like a lot of the YouTube videos I watched was the same exact look. I didn't want that look, so I just kind of came up with this simple one-two shot, okay? But this is the Retro Love palette from, um, what's the name of that? Hush Beauty. This palette has been sold out so long. Finally, when I got the app, it was like miraculously an email sent to me that, um, it was back in stock. So this is the Retro Love. Like I said, it has 14 shadows. And if you guys have seen anything similar, if it, if it looks similar to you, this palette is pretty much an exact dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So that's what made me want to get it. I really liked the colors. Um, like I said, I just think I need to kind of figure out how I want to play around with them. And I think I'll be good to go. This retail for freaking $10 and if you get the Hush app it's free shipping completely free and it came so freaking fast. I was just like whoa and it was free? Yes! Come on bring it to me. So I didn't have any new lippies to do. Um, Like I told you guys this look was all over the place. I had to redo it. I did get some new lippies in my influencer box but I said I was just gonna save those for another look because I didn't really feel like any of them went with this plain Jane look I was going for so I'll definitely save those but those were my 
November buys and how I felt about them all. I would honestly say everything was a go except for this infallible pro matte concealer. Like I said, I don't know if I just didn't like it because of the foundation I was using. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I ended up using my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer, if you guys want to know. I ended up using that. Um, but yeah, this was the only thing I would say was a no-go. But November was a great month for me. I feel like I got some amazing beauty buys. And I mean, I guess I'll see you guys in December when it comes to our beauty buys. Hopefully I get some goodies for Christmas and some beauty goodies to share with you guys. And I look forward to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!